And you want to talk about NVIDIA. You were there on the ground with Patrick. I was. I was. And man, it was true. And um, there was a lot of news there, a lot of networking news. and Yeah. There was a lot of trouble. So I'm going to start out by saying that uh, Jensen's uh, keynote, uh, I mentioned this pre-show, was was kind of like going to a Taylor Swift concert. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of phones held up with the screens lit, and I swear I saw T-shirts and all kinds of weird things going on. Um, but GTC 24 was like any, It I have to say the energy was kind of unlike maybe any conference I've been to um, in recent memory. And it, it wasn't just about NVIDIA. It was this, a, you know, this thing called AI that everybody is so heavily focused on. Um, my three takeaways for N NVIDIA were that it's not just a GPU company, although everyone is going to write about Blackwell and everyone's going to write about the, uh, I think it's the NV72 something or other, you know, the new, rack scale uh, solution they have. Well, everybody's going to focus on that technology. What I took away is that NVIDIA is making a, not a pivot, but they are leaning heavily into software and services. Um, I like that thumbs up. Leaning heavily into software and services. Um, they understand that inference is the long tail and the, the, the big meat of the market. Uh, and they understand the importance of their ecosystem. So a couple of things, I, I, the re, couple of reasons I say that and proof to that is if in the pre-briefings we had and then listening to Jensen and then listening to folks at NVIDIA, while they talked about Blackwell, 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 they also talked about NIMS. They also talked about frameworks. They also talked about uh, the enterprise suite or enterprise tools that they have. And they talked about, um, you know, how this kind of gets activated in the, in the enterprise. It, it, and that to me, you know, this is it's it's a it's a different approach than CUDA. It's a it's establishing st stickiness with customers like they did with CUDA, um, but it's also understanding that co that software is a very important function within AI. Right? It's not just about how you program a GPU or write to a GPU. It's about how you make AI work in your your in your uh, environment. Right? Far different story than just like how do I sell how do I sell more hardware. They're truly becoming a software company. From an ecosystem perspective, what I found very interesting is on, I think it was Wednesday, Jensen walked the show floor, stopped at Dell, stopped at Lenovo, stopped at Vast Data, stopped at um, a bunch of cloud players. He was going from booth to booth and visiting and talking about how important every single one of those ecosystem and, and exhibitors was to the, you know, the AI journey and the NVIDIA story. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a, and he's a huge personality. You would have thought, you know, the King of England was walking around or Taylor right. Swift was walking around the show floor the way yeah. um, people responded to him. But I've never seen, I've never seen that. I've not seen that kind of interaction and that kind of promotion of partners. Tells you how important he views them, NVIDIA views them, and, and, um, and how important they are to NVIDIA as well, by the way, right? Uh, and then from a support and services, just one of the things I, I found very interesting when we were on the pre-briefings, Paul, I think you were on them um, prior to the to the show. You know, while Blackwell was kind of the darling of, of GTC, they led those briefings with all of the vertically uh, focused solutions that they're standing up around healthcare, manufacturing, uh, data intelligence. And why I think that's important, it, it, there, it's, there's something symbolic in there that while they have all of these analysts on and they, they want to talk about what they're doing, the very first thing they talked about was how they make this thing work within specific environments, right? Kind of frictionless, um, I want to say zero touch, but you know, frictionless enablement of NVIDIA-inspired AI within, within these different verticals. That's a big, big deal, I think. Um, and it tells me that they understand they really have to kind of pivot from we have really cool silicon to we are more than just silicon. So really interesting, uh, really interesting tool. Uh, yeah. Uh, show. yeah, you know, from my perspective, you know, you touched on the partnership aspect. I think during his keynote, he called out Michael Dell, I mm -hmm. think twice mm -hmm. and even, you know, plugged Dell. It's like, hey, they sell great compute infrastructure and storage infrastructure. You ought to go see Michael about that. Um, 
And to your point about a platform, I mean, they're truly delivering a platform now, right? So it's silicon, it's software. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be writing an article around uh, telco, but there was an announcement around what the company hopes to do with its cloud platform in optimizing RAN infrastructure around future 6G mm -hmm. um, technology, which, which I found really fascinating as well. But hey, Paul, what, what were some of your insights from GTC? There, there was a lot to kind of you know, dissect. Yeah, I was in that uh, GTC. Oh, you are? Okay. Well, sorry. I should have probably asked you that before we got started. So. What do you, but Paul, what do you think about NVIDIA in general and kind of the, you know, yeah. onslaught of inference and how all these, sorry. Yeah, I'm just amazed at what, uh, what they keep coming out with. I mean, you know, I thought maybe this year there'd be some type of incremental thing to uh, Hopper, but then they, they come out with this 200 billion transistor monster that's, twice the size of that and you know managed to make it all work and uh it's just an amazing company i think five times the paul five times the training um speed 30 times the inference speed um at a at 25 percent of the I, what do you say from a power performance it was like uh 25 savings on power performance crazy yeah yeah fun market to yeah, fun really, market yeah. to watch. One last thing, one last thing I can, if I can throw, because I, I don't want to go, I know I tend to talk too long, but keep an eye out on that inference side. While NVIDIA has a great story and, and they're going to do very well, right? Keep an eye out for other players, you know, um, Qualca, every conversation I had with cloud providers, with customers, with, with partners, Qualcomm came up for their A100 um, part. Grok is always part of the conversation. Untether AI. There are a slew of inference parts out there that are going to play into this market. And it's going to be a huge market. It's wide open. It's going to be, so keep an eye. It's going to be a fun watch. Yeah, so, for Cerebrus, sure. You can look at the Cerebrus, uh, AMD. Cerebrus, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Intel, I mean, Intel's coming along. Yep. Yeah. yeah, lots of good stuff.